Okay, YouTube modeling community, welcome back to my channel. If um, you're seeing this video, it means it's April 17th. It was um, this guy here, Mike from Scale Speedworks, put on a thing starting last year for the 60th anniversary of the Mustang, the Ford Mustang. So I participated. I finished mine last year before the deadline so i do have it we were not supposed to show it we could show update videos and stuff but um this is uh i this is the the, the kit i did it's the uh tamiya ford mustang gt4 it's not this particular kit this is another one um built it took it to a couple of shows and got some results from the shows. Um, took it to uh, talking with Jason over at Blue Box Auto Shop last year. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Uh, saying I was going to come out and meet him. He said, yeah, come on up. You know, bring some models. There's a show coming up at Granicon. And uh, come on, bring some models up and let's do a meet and greet. And that's what we did. So I brought my, uh, you'll see it here now in a minute. My Ford GT, yeah, Granicon 30, civilian vehicles, competition and cl closed wheel, 124th. I took a second place with it, so I was pretty honored for that. It's uh, haven't been to a show in 27 years since my son was born, and to take a second place after that long, that's pretty cool. So after meeting with uh, Jason, met up with Charlie Mack, met some guys from Jason's club, and uh, it was time for us to come back to Canada side, so which we did. And I went up and see my father up in Toronto, looking around, talking to Peter from uh, Lazy My Modeler, Lazy Eyed Modeler. There was a show coming up on the twenty seventh of October of last year, I believe twenty seven, twenty eighth. Anyways, got together with uh, Andrew from uh, Styre. Man, I can't even talk. I'm a mini stroker. Um, Andrew from Aerie Styrene and met up with him. We went to the show, brought brought my same models that I took to the show. And uh, there I took uh, first, second, and third in the closed wheel competition. And the Mustang took second place in that category. So I got this plaque. The other two we'll talk about it is already in my other videos, but um, took second place, so that was pretty cool. So two shows, uh, same model, got second place from two different venues, one in Canada, one in the States, which is pretty cool. Pretty proud of all of it. And um, let me just show you uh, the finished model. It's too, I hope it's not too bright, but uh, there's the GT. Uh, painted with, um, I used, um, true color beige brown or something. I do have the bottle. I guess I should have been more prepared. Um, just give me a minute, guys, and I'll find the bottle if anybody's interested in the color I used. Here it is. Sorry. It was from, the beige was this color. From AK, that's the number, and it fades out to. It's got some black in there. You see the black across the top. The whole front clip is black, and it fades out to that beige color. Uh, the decals are from SK decals. It's like the uh, Mustang camouflage, which was pretty cool. I liked it, so I did the the vents. They're all carbon fiber. Excuse me, I didn't do the lip in carbon fiber, but I did down here in carbon fiber. Tailpiece. Added a uh, few things to the interior. Not too much. It's just a plain. Some wiring in there. It's hard to see. If you go back in my archives, you can see the um, interior before I buttoned it all up. Let me just turn this sucker around. So there's the underside. 
not too much. It is a roller, but we don't play with them. They do roll. They do spin, you know. Um, again, 2K clear coated. I do have two more of these Mustangs. Now, this year, I think Granicon is doing the 60th anniversary of the Mustang. Or another show up there, Jason, or as a classic plastic. Doing it, so I may be bringing this, maybe going back, I'm not sure. Um, doing this one, I do have two other Mustangs to do. So, plus I have my Volt Mustang. But yeah, there's my uh, finished product from the Mustang, hashtag Mustang 60 group build. Too bad the car wasn't 60, it was 61. That's the number on the car. But anyways, thanks Mike for hosting it. Oh, I added some uh, washer detail around the windshield and everywhere to make give it some uh, detail. It looks pretty good. Um... I did go back and do it on my Volt Mustang as well, but there it is, um, my finished Mustang, hosted by Mike over at Scale Speed Shop, sorry guys, there we go, thanks again Mike, appreciate it, love the build, it challenged me to do a two-tone, it challenged me to uh, up my uh, ante a bit. And to just see if I could, let's see if I could, but just Jason and yourself, you know, like, I felt it like a challenge to see if I could, uh, if I could build a model that could win an award, I guess. I don't know. I think I, di I did it. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud, proud and stoked about that. Again, not trying to boast or anything because there's better builders out there than me. I uh, just got lucky, I think. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, good or bad, thumbs up, thumbs down. Go check out Mike. Check, go check out Jason. Go check out the guys I mentioned in my videos. All good guys. Uh, we don't all get along, but you know, we do. We are in the same community, and we, you know, help each other out. I think. So. Uh, Anyways, enough babbling on. Peace out. Thanks for watching.